Just in case you didn't already know, let me tell you this. In the CBRM election, independent candidates are an endangered species, but that's not exactly what I am. I'm Joe Ward, and I'm also running to become your mayor. And because of your help sharing the word, the traditional media is now indicating that it's time to put the pedal to the floor and pass the front runners. So keep talking because it's working. Now I've made it clear that I'm not aligned with any political party in terms of where I get my marching orders. And at least one other candidate has done the opposite with a little wink wink here and there. So officially speaking, there's no political party involvement in municipal elections. But unofficially, as we all know, there absolutely is. So we tend to think there's independent candidates and political party candidates. But I want you to throw those ideas aside for just a second, and I want to redefine what type of candidates we actually are. I'm a dependent candidate, and so are the rest. And do you want to know what the real difference is? They're dependent upon political parties to tell them what they can't do and what they have to do, or basically when to jump and how high. But it's not fair to tell you that they're dependent and not me too, because I have handlers and I have keepers and I have people that tell me what I need to do, a 100%. The parties tell them what to do and the community tells me what they need. They take action based on what their affiliated party says is okay and I take action to get the community the things we need most, whether it's the red team in Ottawa or the blue team in Halifax or any other team of any other color, any other stripe, any other flag, in any other level of government, because that's what we're supposed to do as a municipal government. Now, before you get me wrong, I wanna say there's a problem with party politics specifically. There's absolutely no problem with people who think about life at the center or left of center or right of center or leaning towards any of the parties except when we get to the extremes. Life is not better as a monoculture, and life isn't better when everyone thinks the same way. And life isn't better when community leaders let others think for them and suspend their better judgment, not at all. And the history of our country proves that those kind of mentalities start wars that allied forces have to put a stop to. Ask any veteran if you're unclear about how that works. Now, my role as your next mayor is about serving the needs of a diverse community. It's not about serving a political party. But at the end of the day, ultimately, we're all often forced to be members of a political party in an unofficial way, regardless of how we voted. Now, if you're a home or business owner in the CBRM, I'll give you the cheat code on how to do the math. Take out your tax bill. Now, divide it by two to make the calculations easy. And the number you come up with is your unofficial annual membership fee to any of the parties in Nova Scotia who don't do anything to make life more affordable for us when they hold power. Was it 500 bucks? Was it 1500? Maybe it was 5,000, maybe it was more. That's what happened when we get leaders who are dependent on a party. And that's exactly why you need a mayor like me who's dependent on you. You need to tell me what you need, and you need to tell me what my marching orders are. If it sounds like the kind of leadership that you want for the CBRM, I need your help. Because I ditched the phony signs and the insincere 10 second greetings at the door, primarily done by the others to get selfies for a political Facebook page. Right now, my campaign and support is surging. We're coming up on the perceived front runners and we're ready to pass. Our social media dominates. The media is recognizing that we're all, we were always solidly in the top four right out of the gate. That's the way we win this. The way we take the number one spot is a community effort, but a sincere one, not a bunch of signs. So if you're recognizing the opportunity that we have right here and right now, please help to share these messages online. But much more importantly right now is that you have to nudge friends, family, and even coworkers to find out if they've heard some of the messages and ideas yet. And that's how we win.